Hey guys, welcome to a follow-up video for the last one I did on how to farm barren loot and mods. Thanks to you guys in the comments, I was able to test out a new, much faster farm, and man, this is so much better than running the strike over and over fighting the fanatic. This new farm is the fastest I know of in the game currently to get barren-specific loot, legendary gear, and mods. Mods are pretty hard to come by and really expensive at the gunsmith, but if you get either the barren-themed helmet or chest piece for each class, they will guarantee a mod in them, which means you can dismiss the armor and get the mod. The helmet comes with a super cooldown mod and the chest piece comes with a recovery stat mod. Dismantling the gear gives you the mod entirely and if you dismantle the mod it gives you mod components. This is the fastest way to farm mods and to collect all the baron specific items which are a sidearm, grenade launcher, bow, sparrow, ship, and a helmet and a chest piece for each class. You have to be on a hunter to get the hunter gear and same for all the other classes. One class cannot get the other classes gear. You also have a chance at receiving generic legendary weapons and armor too from this boss. As you see, I've already collected a ton of Baron specific loot which I can dismantle for mods. All you have to do is load up the daily heroic called the machinist and load into the mission, fight all the way to the boss and then once you get his health down to a tiny little sliver, go ahead and kill the boss and then yourself. I tested this a ton of different ways with rocket launchers, snipe rifles, and even just abilities, but the most efficient way I found to do this was with the grenade launchers. You get the boss's health low, you kill him, and then just aim the grenade launcher at the ground and one shot should be enough to kill you. You have loads of time to do this by the way, Ghost has an entire monologue after the boss dies, and you can sit there for a decent amount of time after the boss kill before it counts as a mission completion, although I wouldn't wait too long just in case it makes you restart the mission. The best strategy for farming this boss would be to not use any of your grenade launcher ammo and just kill him with your primary and secondary, and use the grenade launcher to kill yourself only. I was wearing gauntlets that increased my chances of heavy drops, but even then I would find myself out of ammo sometimes and just couldn't get another brick to drop. If you do find yourself out of ammo, you can get the boss's health down really low, and then sit inside the orange liquid that burns you, and right before you die, throw a grenade at him and it should finish him off. This is ridiculously easy to do, and in 30 minutes I got an insane amount of legendary items like you saw in the beginning of the video. You can also do this farming trick on the Daily Heroic mission where you kill the fanatic as well. Be aware that this mission is 500 power as opposed to the previous strike farming video where it was only 400 power so it's not as accessible as the strike farm and the daily heroic mission rotates so this or the fanatic mission won't always be available. If you want to see the strike farm guide I'll have it linked in the description and at the end of the video. I did forget about the fact that you can just kill yourself after you kill the boss and restart the boss fight entirely like I did in this video so keep that in mind when watching the strike farm. Thanks guys so much for watching and and go get that loot before this is patched.